Is the Emirate ID valid after the visa cancellation in the UAE? All you need to know about the Emirate ID. Tune into this video until the end. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to click on the bell icon. It will be the only way you will be updated when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel, by the way. Returning subscribers, thank you so much, I appreciate it. But if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel. In today's video, I have a very cool a question that was coming from one of the viewers. Is the Emirate ID varied after visa cancellation? By the way, can you renew your Emirate ID after your visa expires? All you need to know, by the end of this video, we would have got a clear information of what it means. Remember, when we are talking about the residence visa, we are talking about authority that is being given, permission being given by another country to stay in another country. For you to stay in another country, you need to have what we call a visa depending on which kind of bilateral agreement that are between the two countries. But remember, all people that go to UAE, they need to have a valid visa, what you call a residence visa. Then, for you to have a residence visa, there are some requirements that you need to fulfill for you to have that visa. I will not go into that. Let us see what is an Emirate ID. First of all, when we talk about the Emirate ID, if anyone talks about the Emirate ID in the UAE, we are meaning the UAE. And when we talk about the UAE, we are talking about the, semi, the seven Emirates that make up the UAE. When we look at some of the Emirates, the, five, the favorite destinations, of course, we talk about Dubai, we talk about Abu Dhabi, then we talk about Sharija and other Emirates that make up the UAE. Remember, for you to stay in the UAE, you must have what you call a valid visa and you must have what you call an Emirate ID. And what is an Emirate ID? An Emirate ID is a document, it's a, it's a document that really approves uh, from the government. It approves you to stay in the country. It may be for work, it may be for something else uh, that you hope to do for a given period of time that exceeds more than six months. Remember, for you to get an Emirate ID also, you need to have passed what you call the medical fitness test. They will screen, they will check whatever they want to check. There's some kind of contraband diseases that are not allowed. And if you are going to actually to do a given piece of work, you need to go what you, you need to go under what you call the medical test. But remember, when we talk about the Emirate ID and the visa and the residence visa in the UAE, these things go hand in hand. Remember, remember when. Your visa, when your residence visa is expired and you're going to renew your residence visa, that means it is still at the same time where you are going to renew your Emirate ID. Because as you fill in your application for the residence visa renewal, it is at the same time that you have to fill in your Emirate ID renewal. Remember, when we talk about the UAE, when your visa expires, you are only given a grace period of only 30 days to have renewed. Only a grace period of 30 days to have renewed your visa. And what does it mean? If you don't renew your visa in time, that means if you don't renew your visa in time, then that means you'll have to pay fine, depending. If your visa is expired and you don't renew it in time, that means you'll have to pay uh, 20 dirhams every day. And if your Emirate ID expired and you don't renew it in time, that means you'll have to pay uh, 25 dirhams per day for that charge at that time. I'll get through what you call the information, write the information from what you call the government website. And you hear what they have to say about the Emirate ID and the visa, a visa when it gets expired. 
By the way, if you don't subscribe to this channel, support this channel by subscribing and pressing that notification bell. It's very important because it's the only way you'll be notified when I upload a new video for you. Remember, the question is that, can I renew my residence visa without renewing my Emirate ID? Oh, what happens if you fail to renew your Emirate ID? Remember, both Emirate ID and the residence visas are linked in the government systems. When putting in the request for renewing the residence visa, you also have to upload a renewal form for Emirate ID. The immigration, if the immigration department will ask the Emirate ID application form as well as if they will approve, approve your residence visa. Remember, to approve your, your, your residence visa may be denied if your Emirate ID is not, Emirate ID application is not also submitted at one or the other. Because remember, the Emirate ID and the residence visa are all linked in what you call the government system. They are all linked together in the government system. Meaning that one cannot be renewed when another is also not renewed at the same time. We are looking at a scenario where one is expired or one has expired at a time. Because remember, for you to renew, for you to renew, for you to renew your, your Emirate ID, you must have gone through what you call the medical tests. And when you pass those medical tests, that means they will give you the residence ID, the, the Emirate ID, to see that you are able to live in the country. Further, the government says it means that after your medical fitness test is conducted for the visa renewal process, an Emirate ID application also needs to be filled out. Remember, the UAE residence visa holders can only apply for renewal when the residence visa is reissued. Hope that is very clear. However, the time limit to renew an expired, the time limit to renew an expired ID is given a gross period of only 30 days from the date of expire. After later fines of dirham, 20 per day will apply to with a maximum of 1,000 dirhams. Hope that is very clear, guys. So if you are in UAE and you've been taking this thing as lightly and very lightly, you should be, should be very careful because you'll be entitled to fines. So if you fail to renew your residence visa after it expires, which could also lead to an expiry of your Emirate ID, you will need to pay fines. Remember, the government allows residents to pay uh, residents a gross period of only 30 days to stay in the UAE after the expiry. And still something that you need to know, the late fees for visa renewal is dirham 25 per day and for the emirate id is dirham 20 per day that is what you're supposed to pay as far as fines in case you don't have to renew it uh, in time and remember we talk about the gross period we look at the gross period that you are permitted to stay in the uaa when these two documents or concurrently two documents get to to expire in one Hope guys have tried to share something for those people that are planning to go to the UAE. Uh, for those people that are planning to go to the UAE, when you talk about the UAE, uh, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharija, and other uh, Ajma and other uh, Emirates that make up uh, the UAE to go for work or any other business apart from the uh, the tourist uh, tourism or to being a tourist for some given period of time. So that is what you need to follow and that's what you need to know. Hope I've tried to explain it well. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for subscribing to this channel and tuning into this your, uh, channel and watching video to this channel. I really appreciate it. See you again as we try to talk about, more, try to look at more of the important information that is going to help us live and get us to live when we get to the immigration process. Don't forget, it's Max from the Max Creation TV. See you again in the next video as we try to discover other information in regarding in the UAE. 
and we get to share together. By the way, don't fail to comment. Uh, put a comment in the section, uh, comment section below. I'll always be more than happy to get back to you. Share, comment, and give up a thumbs up. Like this video if you see that's given us some important information. Please give up the like. I'll always be more than happy and more than happy. Thank you so much. It's makes from the next creation. See you again in the next video.